want to play some Xbox games on your iPhone or iPad? There isn't an app for that, but there is an official Apple approved solution. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up and stream Xbox Game Pass games on your Apple device. Hello, hello, Willis here with Macworld. Now, just a quick note before we get started, in order to play Xbox games on your phone, you do need to be a Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscriber to enjoy the cloud gaming service that costs $15 a month. You also need to make sure that you are using iOS 14.4 or later and a Safari browser for this to work. The cloud gaming service is optimized for 5 GHz Wi-Fi networks, so make sure you have a strong Wi-Fi connection for the best gameplay experience. If you're gaming on the go and need to rely on cellular service, then 5G networks can be fast, but your data usage can be very high and may impact your data plan. Let's get started. Head over to xbox.com slash play using Safari on your phone. Sign into your Microsoft account and the cloud gaming beta will open. To optimize your experience, a window will pop up asking you to add the Xbox Cloud Gaming to your home screen. This is essentially a shortcut to jump back into the cloud service without having an app. Sneaky Microsoft. Tap the send button, add to home screen, and boom! You now have the Cloud Gaming Service shortcut as if you're accessing an app. And it's as simple as that! This is all it takes to get started playing all your favorite Xbox AAA and indie title games. There are also a variety of Xbox-ready game accessories for the iPhone that can level up your experience. Options like the Backbone One and this Razer Kishi controller that I am currently using that have MFI certified versions for iPhones. To see a full list of compatible devices, head over to Xbox support with the link in the description below. And if you need help pairing a controller to your iPhone, check out the video link in the description as well. And that's it! If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please drop them down below. Be sure to click and subscribe for more how-to videos, and of course, check out our articles on macworld.com as well for even more Apple coverage. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.